Animal Husbandry 101. Check your animals over and over and over and over. Good morning, everybody. Say hi to Al. Say hi. This is Al. Hi, hey, Al. Our cream leg bar, Tolbert Polish mix. Yeah. Yeah, and he's a little rooster. And he's just become mama's pet. So, oh, Al. Al. Say hello. Say, I'm pretty. Yes, I am. And I'm a sweetheart. Y'all, we're going to talk chickens today. Believe it or not, my favorite subject. So, walk around here with me. I walked around my coops. And I did a video last year on a DIY repurposed chicken coop. So, I'm back here by those coops. Okay. As you can see, those are the coops. Those were prefabricated. Do you see them? Then there's that. Okay. These right here were the actual coops. Last January, we had two Labrador retrievers get in these coops. And this is what's left of them. So I've seen a lot of comments and posts about chicken coops being on sale and people wanting to go out and get these coops that are prefabricated. I think I had five and I was a new chicken farmer and I was going to have these prefabricated coops. I thought, well, for 200 bucks, you know, hey, it's cheap, it's easy, it's small. Well, it's, it's good to start out with that. It's good to start out with anything. However, beware, a dog of, of the strength of a lab can break into these, okay? I, I'm just being honest, y'all. I mean, that's what happened to, to us. We lost our entire, oh, ow, 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 I don't know. Now, you can't be eating my, my ponytail. No, you can't. Poor little owl. Are you going to sleep in my arms? Oh, hi, darling. Y'all, this, this thing is a baby. Yeah. It's always the roosters. It's always the roosters I love. Yep. Owl. Anyways. I digress. I love labs. I love them. But they're strong. Any kind of big dog can break into these things. Let me, let me show you. See that? That little wire? If I press on it, look how it's bending. All they did was just boop with their shoulder and it, it burst open. I mean, this is what's left. My husband reinforced these with, I mean, look. Look at the layers here. Look at all the, the tin, the wire, and these are completely off the ground, built onto wood. And he tried to piece it together, but see how like this stuff just pops off. I mean, I mean, and that doesn't mean anything. That's just there. But see, I mean, see, see what I'm saying? So y'all, if you are serious about your flock, uh, if I got prefabricated coops, I would definitely reinforce them. Okay. I'm trying to save you some time and some money here. If you had to get the prefabricated, uh, you, you got to reinforce them. If you don't, if you don't go that route, I would build my own chicken coop. I'm gonna walk you around to the big coop that my husband first built, but see the, like all the reinforcements he's done here. See this wire, you've, you've got to have that. I'm telling y'all, you got to have it. This, whew, this chicken wire, mm -mm. That'll pop right through. See that? Just, you, you have to have something sturdier here. And that's just, I mean, it's it's the bottom line. You, you've got to do it because there, a dog will burst through that. A bear, y'all may laugh, but a lot of y'all live in North Carolina that follow us. You got bears everywhere. Uh, up north, you know, Midwest, West, you know, Northwest. You got, you got all sorts of predators. It's, you know, you gotta protect it. Anything with any weight to it, 
will burst through a prefabricated coop. We Now we do have some of the coops left. Let me walk you this way. We've got, let's see here. Now I'm gonna show you this. We've got this coop right here. Okay, that was a prefabricated coop. You can see the roof, but it's held its job. And guess how many chickens I have in here? This entire space. You know how many? I have three. I have a frizzle coach and bantam rooster and two hens. That's it. They're that small. I mean, they're smaller than Al here, and Al's a baby. Yeah. I say Al's just a baby. But for that much space and that much wear and tear, that's, and that's inside of a dog kennel. Because a dog, they're not going to get through that kennel, usually. With chicken wire, this high, zip tied, with netting on top, possum still gotten in there, zip tied together, with a tarp on the other side. Y'all, if you, <laughs> if you think that that small little coop is going to hold a predator out, no, no. They could get into Fort Knox if they wanted to. I mean, really, that's just how predators go. So a lot of this is not against the prefabricated coops. I'm just saying it took a lot of learning and a, a lot of time to realize, hey, we got to do this. This is my biggest coop and my husband built all that, okay? That is Fort Knox. It's actually, this coop come from his sister and then he added on to it the run. So the box that your chickens get in at night to sleep, that's the coop. The run is the protected area where they can get out. The coop's just where they sleep, technically. And let me show you one thing over here. That's my duckling. Now what's wrong with, what's wrong with the baby? You know, we gotta go check it out, Al. Where's the baby? Y'all, the duckling is, I mean, he is just wore me out because he has escaped every day, multiple times a day. Now over here, I have some of the, um, what's left of the coops propped up. See that? That was a panel off of the coop. Dogs literally tore the front off of it. I mean, these are going to be your, your door panels there. See that? And look at that. My foot can go through that easily. See that wire, how it just burst out the side? They just literally want a clean swipe. And they just took it out. I mean, they just poked through it. It doesn't matter what you have, whether it's hand-built or prefabricated. But if you do get prefabricated, please reinforce it against predators. <laughs> see? See the dog kennels here? The netting? And I see a problem here. I see the netting has torn right there. I've got to go get some zip ties and tie it back together. See, you have to check this stuff. Check and recheck. Check and recheck. Because now, guess what? A possum's gonna get through there, a raccoon. Everything breaks down over time. And that's what happened to my Tolbert Polish hen. I only had one out of 11 chickens that hatched. And a possum got in here that night. Of course, he didn't get the roosters that there was 11 of. He got the one hen, so, and that was his mother. But the, the very final one here, you see how this is double layered? Chicken wire, dog wire. Layered, layered on the ground, all the way up, triple layered, huge door, huge run. We've got roost poles everywhere, the coop on the inside with nest boxes. This right here has kept out a German Shepherd, a hundred pound German Shepherd. I was out here with him and I saw it and it kept him out. I got him out of here, but um, I'm telling you, you, you got to check and recheck. Whatever you do, Al says to check your coops, reinforce your coops, hand build it if you can, but if you can't, if you've got prefabricated, reinforce it. Put it inside another structure. You can never be too predator safe, okay? Because they'll find a way to get in one way or the other. Al says take care. Al says keep on growing, keep farming. We'll see you next time on Harmon Homestead.